Hey everyone, I hope you're ready for this round because it's shaping up to be probably the biggest in all of this entire series. Today we're going to be talking about the start of the Wolfman Perez era for the Teen Titans. We'll be talking about what's going on with this series, some unfortunate news surrounding George Perez that recently came out, and finally we'll see if the new Teen Titans can make the grade compared to the rest of this series and its history. For those that don't know, I've been reviewing every Teen Titans comic that's ever been so be sure to subscribe to our channel for more reviews on all things Titans. After two cancellations, it's hard to put oneself in the mindset of not only a DC fan at the end of the 1970s, but also part of the company. Teen Titans as a series, though it had a run for over 50 issues, wasn't anything like what it resembles today. Without either the original series or the revival managing to achieve anything all that great, or the energy and creative force behind the Teen Titans we would recognize today, it's a bit of a miracle the entire team and franchise didn't simply go dormant for a long, long time following the second cancellation. It could have very well worked out in a way that the Teen Titans found themselves not as a staple of DC's roster, but rather just a little bit of trivia as a team that only really existed pre-Crisis never really amounting to anything beyond that. There are a lot of characters and superhero teams out there that meet that criteria, and Teen Titans could have very easily joined that roster of obscurity had things gone a little differently at this point in comic book history. However, this was never to be the case, In an example of truly brilliant editing and in a remarkable show of just how much things had changed at the company in only a decade, in 1980 DC Comics made one of the most brilliant decisions in the history of their company, and assigned Marv Wolfman to work with artist George Perez on a new Teen Titans series. This is so important not just to Teen Titans history, but comic book history in general. Marv Wolfman getting this series also must have been a personal victory of sorts for the author. After an original Teen Titans script by Wolfman at the start of his career was not only rejected, but left him temporarily blacklisted by the company, him getting to write for the Teen Titans with what appears to have been a great deal of creative freedom must have felt really good for the man in 1980. What seals the deal for this era being so legendary for Teen Titans history, however, is that he was paired with George Perez, a then up-and-coming artist who generally these days is considered to be one of the best in all of comic book history. This video, and perhaps the entire Great of the Avengers series, is going to be twinged by a bit of sadness. Because I started writing this script within days of Prez announcing that he has a terminal form of cancer and will be dead within a year. Even in writing all of this out, it feels appropriate to just say it right now. We're going to dedicate all of Grading the Titans to George Perez because so much of Teen Titans history is dependent on the artwork and creative input of this man. At the time of them creating this series, they lived near each other and would frequently meet. By the time New Teen Titans reaches the end of its run, the two were heavily involved in each other's work, with Perez contributing to the story and Wolfman providing a lot of input into what scenes and such should look like while they were discussing and meeting in person. New Teen Titans is unlike most other superhero comics even today, 30 years after the fact. It really stands out in terms of its quality and what it has to say about these now famous and beloved characters. Perez and Wolfman have a lot to do with shaping the Titans into what it is today and them achieving the level of fame they have. With them, we saw the roster now officially include Beast Boy and important newcomers Terra, Starfire, Raven, and Cyborg all joining the team around this time. That's huge all on its own. These are now considered essential Team Titans characters, but that's not based on the team's origins as we've seen. Instead, it's here that this happens, in New Team Titans. Perez and Wolfman launch into this series of comics that work on every level. It defines what people like myself look for in a good Teen Titans series, as well as the shape of just about every adaptation of the brand that would follow. The series kicks off with Raven forming the team to face what would become one of their most recurring and deadly of villains, her demonic father Trigon. From here it's just story after story that would famously define and be referenced in pretty much all future Teen Titans properties. We get introduced to important characters like Blackfire, Deathstroke, and Brother Blood, all becoming major enemies of the team, and the friendship is cemented between the existing members in a way that just hadn't been before. Compared to the first run of Teen Titans comics, this iteration feels like a real team that actually cares about one another, at least in my opinion. 
It makes me so much more invested as a reader and eager to delve into these many issues in this new series. It's a lot easier to get through the new Teen Titans compared to anything before, because not only is every story great, but I'm so much more attached to these characters as they are presented. Yes, the original Teen Titans characters are all still very much around, but they do feel a lot more human and more grounded, so they all work better as members of the team with Wolfman and Perez behind the scenes. The only thing I feel holds this series back is that unfortunately, with such an advanced and high quality job with the art by George Perez, the much older designs of these original characters clash heavily with the newer, more polished content surrounding it. I like Robin's old outfit, and it has its place in comic book history, but you have someone like Cyborg, Raven, and Starfire who all look amazing, and I know how these companies operate. I've talked to people who work for DC in the present day, and there's always a lot of resistance with changing iconic costumes. But the tone of the series is moving in a much more darker direction, with a distinct young adult flair in its writing. Still, my small gripes about costume design here and there, about a handful of these team members is a very, very tiny complaint against an ocean of strong, positive feelings I have around this series, and that part should be made very clear. I do bring it up because, yes, the new Teen Titans isn't perfect, few comics are, and it does suffer from a bit of growing pains as the series marks a major transition away from the themes and ideas of the original run. In spite of these minor problems though, the new Teen Titans still remains one of the best of the best, not only in terms of Teen Titans comics, but just comic books in general. Out of the 40 issues and various other bonus content published around this time, there wasn't a single book I didn't enjoy. In revisiting this series, everything impressed me, from the storytelling to the excellent use of visuals. Beyond my small criticisms about these costumes, the art is so clean, efficient, and creative. Comparing the look and feel of the original series to this run makes it feel like New Teen Titans was struck by this bolt of lightning. Everything is energized and comes to life in a way I was so desperate for the original series to do, but never quite managed to pull off. The expertise and well-regarded nature of George Perez really becomes apparent when reading these books. There's a reason this man is a legend, and you really can just see it in these comics. With all this in mind, it shouldn't be a surprise that this series was met with widespread success and critical acclaim, unlike anything that ever came before it in Teen Titans history. Where the original series became a sort of joke among the comic book community at the time, suddenly New Teen Titans was leading the way forward, breaking new ground and showcasing a new type of content and series that had an energy and ambition largely incomparable to much else going on in the comic book world at the time, outside of maybe the X-Men over at Marvel. Interestingly, both of these two properties were running incredibly hot at the time. Over at Marvel, Chris Claremont was then writing the Uncanny X-Men and bringing them to similar unheard of heights for the team. And because of all that, they even got a single crossover issue. These types of crossovers are very rare and special in comic book history. I have to say I really enjoyed reading it, but what impressed me most about it is how in just two years, Wolfman and Perez managed to turn the Titans into a franchise with enough depth and popularity that it could now rival and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the X-Men, a team that had been around for a long time and had benefited from all those years of development while Teen Titans was largely on hiatus. That the new Teen Titans could already exist as a peer against such a major Marvel franchise so quickly is so cool to me, but then again, Everything about the new Teen Titans is remarkable. Just because it isn't perfect doesn't mean it doesn't rank as the all-time best among Teen Titans history. Not only is this the single most important and influential run in all of Teen Titans comics, but it is of outstanding quality and absolutely worth reading even 30 years after the fact. It's just an incredible series of books, even by the larger standards of the comic book world, compared to the relative grading we're doing for this series. So with all the popularity and success of the new Teen Titans, it is interesting to note that after 40 issues, the series did come to an end. But for the first time in grading the Titans history, this wasn't the series being cancelled, but rather yet another mark of success. 
The series was doing so well and was so popular that, perhaps in recognition of the problems I recognized earlier, Wolfbin and Perez felt it was time to revamp the Titans once more, rebranding it into Tales of the Teen Titans, and as far as I'm concerned, kicking off a whole new era of Teen Titans comics for me to review. We'll go over those next time on Grading the Titans.